um, right, hi guys, um, I just thought I'd do this live, um, as most of you will know, I've been banned off of Facebook, I'm not allowed to comment or um, post for 30 days, and I'm not allowed to go live for 90 days, um, kind of shook, like, shocked me a bit, because it's like, I've always had a, like, a two to three day ban with comments and, and shit, but um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So I know this ain't going out live to Facebook. It's probably only going out live to YouTube. Um, but other than that, I want to give an update on Sabine McNeil. I even went as far as to try and book a visit. Yeah, but because of um, COVID, like data reader, I couldn't do that. But I am telling you, I have had girls scour that jowl. And if you are under any, any illusions that that might be a bit too far, Intel, Bronzefield is my local jowl. Since they shut down Holloway, Bronzefield is my local jowl. So everyone I know goes to Bronzefield. That is a hell of a lot of people, let me tell you that now. And I, I am, te even the prison number that was given to me looked dodgy. Um, so, you know, I, I am going to go as far as to say she ain't in there. Um, according to Angela, she was due to be repatriated, but I got a, a, a message off of some bird called Nicola Lane or something like that, saying that she was waiting for a release date. And it, 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 I, I, I'm not going to lie, I think it's all a fucking psyop, man. It is all, and do you know why? They want to stop people from coming forward. They want to scare them. So they ain't going to come forward in case they go jail. You're not going to jail. I can, I, 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 there's no two ways. And I guarantee you, if we look for Carl Beach, we won't find Carl Beach either. Yeah? You know, it, it, it's... Uh, uh, this online world is just... It, for me to get my head around all the bullshit, it is it 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 it's it's just nuts, absolutely nuts, yeah. Malicious communications, right? That, you know what's that about? It's just, it's just, it's just a way of scaring people, and all you people that are doing this. Do you know what you're covering up for? Do you, like, do, do people know what they are covering up for? Because what you are covering up for is paedophilia, child torture, child rape, for fuck's sake, yeah? And oh, it, it really, 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 really makes me mad. It, re it really does make me mad. I'm not going to lie. It pisses me off so much. Yeah, because there is so much bullshit online. It is just, it, it, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. And, you know, you uh, to me, I haven't met anybody that hasn't got a hidden agenda apart from Brian. And that's why me and Brian are still friends. Me and Brian did get on. I haven't fallen out of Brian. So, you know, it, it, it's... It, it, but it is, it is, it is just, it is a standing. And every day I speak to him and there's something else and there's something else. And it, it's like, I feel that poor boy was targeted from day one. Um, but that's a different story. I'm not going to get off, off, um, off, off topic yet. Um, really, I just thought I'd <laughs> do an update on um, some of the things that I've been doing. Um, I've been doing a lot of research. Because where I can't post up on Facebook, I'm just I'm just constantly, constantly, constantly researching. And I just want to say that people who are not subscribed to Memory Hold on BitChute, if you've got BitChute, subscribe to Memory Hold. Subscribe to Murphy Buddha. Because, that, 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 I mean, Memory Hold especially is, for me, probably the best out there that there is out there. And I found him in 2019, there's been no red flags, no nothing, no, you know, nothing, yeah? And he, he, he deserves a, an award for his research. And, you, you know, you get the truth, yeah? And it, but the truth ain't pretty, that much I can tell you. 
the truth is, and he backs up everything he says, real time, as he's doing the podcast, it, it'll pull shit up, yeah, and it, it just, because I went over one of his, um, well, one of the best videos I ever, I believe that he ever made, and it was called SRC Demons in Plain Sight, and it's source code demons, basically, and he shows how Google, Instagram, they have these algorithms and he calls it, it, it says it, it acts like an adhesive glue. And it, it then uh, like shows images that have recently been hidden. It, it, and it, it's just, it, it is just so sick. But to get to the truth, you've got to go through so much bullshit. Yeah, so much bullshit. It's, it, it, it's ridiculous. You know, you've got Andrew Goyne with a Hello, Hello, Hello Productions. What the fuck is that about? Did we ever find out? No. Yeah, we've got Sharon Gale with her bullshit backstory. Yeah, and if it's not bullshit, whatever way, it don't look too good for her. Um, and, and you've got Sean Atwood. What the fuck? John Wedger. Lead it like becoming ambassadors, like fuck off, yeah. You're all gatekeepers. James English don't know too much about him. Not gonna lie, not from my neck of the woods, but I would say he's in on it because they all fucking are. All the main podcasters, you know, and it it is it is it it, it, it's getting it's getting it's getting boring. That's what it's getting. It's getting fucking boring. And then I try, and do you know what? I knew there was something about the Hampstead case. When I first went into this, yeah, I was totally 100% convinced the children were telling the truth, yeah? When I went into this, I totally, totally believed the children. But as time's gone on, there's so much falseness around this case. And now the Sabine McNeil, I'm not going to lie, she's not in Bronzefield. I'm going as far as to say that. There's no way that woman's in Bronzefield. So where is she then? Where is this 70-year-old woman who got 18 years for putting, on, for putting up on YouTube? Them children, and it never even went to a criminal court. You do all know that, don't you? Yeah, the Hampstead case never went to a criminal court. It went to a family court and the BBC with Ricky Demon's interview, you know. It's all theatre. It is all theatre. Yeah, all to protect like like the, the elites, Prince Andrew probably mainly, um, and, and Prince Charles. And, 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 and Prince Philip, and Lord Mountbatten, they was all fucking nonces. You know, it's, it, it, it's, it's like, have they not nonced enough of our children? Yeah, when are people going to wake up? I mean, I don't know about William and Harry. I don't know, I, I, I don't know too much about them, but they don't seem to be nonces. And is that what we've got to hope for our royal family? They're not nonces. It's not okay for these people to do what they do. It's not okay. It's like, even if they're immigrant children, they're children. They are children. And for God's sake, like, people need to wake up to the arts and embassies program. Yeah? To, you know, it, it, it's, that, that is 100% confirmed. Yeah, and oh my God, Marina Abramovich had, had live performance art shipped over from John Podesta. What the hell? Do you, no, Tony Podesta. What the hell do you think was in them fucking container things? What do you think live performance art is? Animals you can transport legally. And, you know, I know it's hard for people to comprehend. I know that. But you've got to fucking wake up. And you've got to wake up fast. Our, mass, our, our mainstream media is a joke. 
an absolute joke because in 1990 you had 86 different media corporations now there are five controlled by disney comcast viacom like five like organized owner own the whole media not to mention rupert murdoch because the worst of them are over here. The worst of them are over here. It, 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 just, it, it just really, really... And, and also Tony Blair. Oh, you do know he's on the Queen's Honours list to get a certain... What? Tony fucking Blair. He was on Epstein's flight logs. He was done for importuning when he was Charles fucking Lytton at Bow Street Magistrates Court. Yeah, you know these. It's and he, and he's and and he's he's in for the, the, the whatever it is. I don't fucking know. I, I just know that if the queen's giving it to you, you're a fucking wonky. You're dodgy, dodgy. <laughs> I'm using Brian's words now, wonky. But um, no, and oh, also another thing, Wakefield Prison. How many nonces are in Wakefield Prison? Right. Because to me, you've got Sidney Cook, you've got fucking um, uh, uh, Ian Watkins, um, Levi Belfield, Ian Huntley. <sighs> like, what, what have they got a whole wing to themselves? And apparently you've got some poor guy locked in the basement in a fucking perspex whatever cube or cage or whatever it is because he, he murked two nonces. What? Like, there is something very, 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 very wrong with the Carl Beach case, with the, the, with the Sabine McNeil case, yeah? There is something very, 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 very wrong, yeah? And what does it do? Deter victims from coming forward. Because you might end up in jail for 18 years. Fuck off, yeah? That, that, that. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. And I, and, and I had to do this live because I was really, 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 I, I was really angry. Yeah. Um, it, 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 but everything always leads back to paedophilia, fucking Westminster. Yeah. And, and the music industry. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's just getting beyond a joke. It really is getting beyond a joke because the arts and embassies, right, I, I, I beg you to go to look on my face because you can look on my Facebook and it's public and it's I've got two accounts, Nikki Cooper, yeah, it's just Nikki Cooper and it's got my two dogs as a profile pic or there's one without a profile pic. My, all my documentaries go up on both of them. Go and look at my documentaries. Go and look at the arts and embassies programme, yeah, Please do that because that 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 is real, yeah. And because people over here have no idea, yeah, it's so that Wayne Cousins, yeah, the one who was meant to have killed that Rachel Everard, yeah, he was meant to, he was part of that that arts and embassies. He was he was guarding it. The, <laughs> they said that the last embassy that he um, guarded was the American embassy. Oh, and, it, you know, people need to wake up because I'm telling you and I've been telling you for a year and over a year and a half now about this arts and embassies. Yeah. And not one other podcaster apart from Brian has picked up on that. Yeah. Even the fact that Wayne Cousins was in the elite parliamentary bullshit. Yeah. Which meant that he guarded VIP dignitaries and he guarded their embassies. The embassies have their own um, uh, customs people, and they're called TAPS. T-A-P-S. Yeah? Um, and they just wave through live performance art because it's got diplomatic shipping. Like, you know, and I've been telling people for over a, over a year and a half now, yeah? But I still keep telling people because it, it, it's important. It really, really, really is important. Um, and I've, what, what else can I say? Because I'm just so sick and tired 
of these lies, of people pushing an agenda, pushing, like, say what you want about me, but I ain't pushing no one's agenda. Yeah, I'm not looking to fall out with anybody. I'm not like, I'm just looking for the truth. And if that upsets people, then pff, so be it. Yeah. But the bottom line is, is like, I, you know, I will get to the truth. And the fact is, is I don't think anybody's come up in this, right, in, in this online world, in my position. Yeah. Because I didn't leave clipping and leave it years and years and years and years. I, I literally stopped clipping the day I met John Wedger. The bottom line is, right? So I've still got all my contacts. I've still got all my mates. Yeah, I haven't sold anybody out. This is just about child trafficking and the, mis the, the, the miscarriage of justice that's happened to Brian is a, it's atrocious. It is so atrocious. I, ca I can't even begin, Right? when he's had all these high profile lawyers and you know, all these, and <laughs> they've all fucked him over. But I've got a feeling that this year is gonna be the year because something's gotta give, something's gotta give. And you all know that the Andrew thing's going on at the same time as the Ghislaine thing as well, which is a bit of a mad, day. and that's all just bullshit. There is, there's no way that that woman is, she's not even in jail. It's like, they like to say, oh, in jail, and that's it, end off, case closed. Fuck that. And like I said, Bronzefield is like my local jail. I've been in Bronzefield, so it's not like I haven't been in Bronzefield. Yeah, proven, right? Um, but when I say, like, lucky I had, really, because that I've been able to check. And like I said, as far as I'm concerned, that woman is not in Bronzefield. That woman is definitely not in Bronzefield. Um, so, anyone coming up with any ideas about where she could be? You know, it, it's, it, it's, I, I don't know, I don't know. But what I do, oh yes, I went to the opticians today, and uh, great, they told me that I've got a cataract in my left eye, which is my lazy eye. What was I doing? Oh, I've been on for 17, I've been ranting and raving for 17 minutes. No, but it really, it really does wind me up yeah you got you know i mean i i don't even like mention it but sharon gal and i went over her richie allen interview the first ever interview that woman ever done within five minutes if if richie allen was a real bony fide stop it if richie allen was real yeah he would have picked up on the inconsistencies in her story and, and fired them out, right? That's why I know I never get no guests on my show because I don't care, you've got to be coming correct. You better be coming correct. And I can't see anyone coming correct. Um, so it looks like it just be me or me and Brian. You know, we're gonna do more of our chats because, you know, the bottom line is we get on well, we bounce well off of each other. And I'm telling you now, right? Bill Maloney, John Wedger, all of them. You're fucked. You're so fucked. Yeah. John Wedger in his last thing saying that he's changed laws. He changes his story each and every time. Yeah. Because he done a lot as a um, active police officer. Which he was when he procured Brian to go and go and interview Andrew Ash. You know. Like what? What was you, John? Was you was you an active police officer? Was you not a police officer? You you, you, you know your story changes every single time, and and yeah, I am gonna call you out because you 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 know like me and Bright, it, it's just a fucking joke. But I will say one thing: if it weren't for John Wedger, I would not be on this road. But let me tell you now: his intentions were never, never, never good. His intentions was to set me up from day fucking one. And because I've got a lot of smartness about me, yeah, that old drunkard could never pull one over on me, yeah? But when, <laughs> when <laughs> so his intentions were never, like they tried to set me up with a GoFundMe, 
about when that 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 dead woman who died, I don't even know what happened there, but she donated a thousand pound. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna run. Like I'll cash that shit and I'll fucking run because I knew there was something dodgy in that. Yeah. I knew that there was something not quite right. Yeah. This word, you know, it it is. Um, yeah, and I think I was meant to be uh, forever grateful to uh, Jeanette and John, but I'd fallen out with Jeanette at that time anyway. I'd fallen out with her already. She was the first one I fell out with. I will still say it. She's one evil, manipulative woman, but you don't have to listen to me. Um, and I'm, I ain't got no axe to grind with anybody, really, to be quite honest with you, but I'm calling out the bullshit. I am actually calling out the bullshit because Sabine McNeil is not in Bronzefield. Not, no. No, I've even had my friend scour the jail again with her prison number. Don't even get me started on the prison number. But she's not in Bronzefield. <laughs> she really is not in Bronzefield. I can't say she never was. But she's not in Bronzefield now. And we are led to believe that she is still in jail now for, what, for putting the children's testimonies up online. But... My whole, my whole thing is, it was not testimonies from a criminal case. There was no criminal... Fit. So, so how they then singled this woman out to be a criminal and put her in jail is beyond me when the children's testimonies are back up online anyway. You know? So, so... <laughs> it, there's so... I can't even begin to tell you how much bullshit... There. And if they're not actually part of it, they just people stay in their lane. And I understand that you've got to make a living. I, I get that. I do, I do get that. But when you start getting to to to, to what me, Brian, and uh, well, it 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 is it's not about staying in your lane. It's about just coming. It's just coming with the truth. And I don't know how to do anything else. To be quite honest with you, I don't. I've, I don't know how to come with anything but the truth. And it's always uh, got me in hot water a few times. But it, it, you know, it. I don't know how to do anything other. So, you know, and f what I'm seeing is absolute complete. Oh God, hang on, my lighter. Absolute, complete and utter bullshit. There is no other way to explain it. And, you know, it, it, it kind of... It, 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 it just makes you question everybody. And uh, I've, I've had contact with quite a few people, um, you know, and it's always ended in tears. Always ended in tears. This person bought this person to me. Lou Dickens bought this Julian King, who was meant to be another police whistleblower. It it's 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 nuts. It's nuts. But everyone brings and it, it's like no, you ain't getting past me like that, mate. No, 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 no. But it just upsets me because. I didn't realise that these people weren't legit until Brian pointed it out. And then I thought Brian was being over paranoid, which I have done. I, I've, I thought that quite a lot over the... But it's like he's ended up being right every single time. So, you know, now I don't even question. I'm just like, I, right. Because he is right about everything. Everything. Yeah. And it is... It, it, it's, it, it, it's, but I, I will say that Brian's Brian's case is probably about the worst case of, of mis um, justice. Like it, 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 it's just mind blowing. And the boy's never even committed a crime. <laughs> that's that's what I find hard to hard to get my head around. He, he wasn't a criminal. He's not a criminal. He he never set out to be a criminal. And uh, yeah. But yeah, so anyway, I've been ranting. I, I need to put my look. I've got look these glasses. They're they're going to be gone soon. I'm going to have me ones from Specstavers. But you know, I've been on for twenty five minutes. I've had me little rant. I know I'm only going out to YouTube, but hey ho, I don't care if I'm going out to one person. I'm going out to one person. But um, as ever, thanks for listening. Bye.